Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate. I got another one for you. Yeah, as you can tell, it's a little bit smaller. This one comes in at just over a thousand square foot. It's a thousand and sixty-seven square foot of living space. You guys have been asking for some of the smaller, more affordable homes. I just filmed one. Let's see right back over there that tan one way back over there this one is really similar to it in fact it's pretty much identical layout except for a few minor changes this one is a two bedroom just like the other one but this one gives you two bathrooms yes this one is a two bedroom two bath very affordable 1067 square foot home made by Valley Quality Homes here in Spokane. They do make their own homes. They build them themselves, so they're fully customizable. With the back door right there. So if there's something that you'd like to see changed, you can talk to them, you can change them. I know you can make these homes a little bit bigger, so if you want this particular home and you need a third bedroom, they can add on to it. They can make them a little bit longer. So they can add that extra bedroom to it if you need it. So with that, well, let's go ahead and head on in. Now mind you, as we go into this one, this one just got delivered not too long ago. It's still in the process of being set up, but I couldn't pass up the fact that you guys have been asking for them and I saw this one. So as I said, this one is still in the process of being set up. So much so that you can still see the lags that hold the two sections together. But I wanted to point out that unlike the other one, this one has a coat closet when you first come in. The other one did not. So we've got a nice size living room here. Of course, keep in mind, all this stuff is like in the way, blocking everything. But I had to show this one to you. You guys have asked for them. I saw this one, I had to get it for you. So just keep in mind that there's a lot of stuff that's not finished out in this home. We've got our kitchen area here. There is no power in this home, so some things are going to be a little darker than others, too. But we've got a lot of counter space in the kitchen here. A whole lot of cupboard space for the size of the kitchen. We've got adjustable. Nope, these aren't adjustable down here. I don't think I ever show the bottom cabinets. I always show the upper cabinets, never the bottom ones. So I figured I'd show you one of the bottom ones. Now these are the white GE appliances. Now obviously you can upgrade the appliances. They always, these ones are the more basic appliances that you can get in your homes. So as you can see, it's still got some of the stringers all over the place around the fridge and all that this one they told me just got delivered like a week ago but we've got a good sized kitchen area here and then your dining room table is going to go back over here probably just a little round one or a small little square table here And on the back side, 
of your kitchen, just like the other one, is your utility room. So there's your washer and dryer hookups. You've got plenty of cabinets in here. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show you this cabinet here. There's your back door. Now that door goes into the bathroom. I'll have to come around. I mean, in fact, I'm going to have to open this to let in as much light as possible when we go to film it. But we'll come back this way. Because as we head down towards the bedrooms, we've also got the linen closet in this one. So the previous one just had the linen closet. It didn't have the coat closet on the back side there. And our bathroom over here. Oh look, there's even a lag bolt that goes through right there. So this is your guest bathroom, kids bathroom. You've got a lot of counter space and lots of cabinet space in here. Medicine cabinet over there. On the back side is your toilet and your shower. So it is just a one piece fiberglass shower tub combo. Not gonna be able to show a whole lot down in there. As I said, it is pretty dark in here. And then back here is bedroom number one. Good size closet. Your water heater access is inside this closet. Now in the previous one, back behind this door, there was some cabinetry. Now there's no cabinetry in here because that is making room for the bathroom and also making this bedroom just a little bit larger than the previous version. So this bedroom definitely feels much larger than the other one that I did. And in our closets over here, it looks like it's just gonna be one long pass through closet, which it is. So you get a lot of closet space, but you got to go through these two sliding doors. I'm not sure if there's an option to change the doors out or not. There may be. You may even be able to make the closet a little bit deeper. And in our master bathroom, now I don't know, I'm sure you could probably option in a shower tub combo if you wanted to. Hello Raiden, since this is the brighter bathroom to be able to actually get my wave in. We've got a decent size counter space here. Once again, you got the medicine cabinet. But I did think it was kind of neat to be able to show you with this one being so far or so less along, I guess you could say, in the setup process, that you can actually see how they put the two halves together and hold them together with those lag bolts. That's something you don't normally see, and I know people have often wondered and asked how they put the two halves together, what holds them together, how close are they? Well, they're running lag bolts in there. I mean, they can just suck them right up together. There is your one piece shower in here with a bench. Nice little towel rack right there, towel hanger. So when they do those legs, 
That bolt goes all the way through with a nut on the other end and a washer. And then they, like I said, they can just run those down as tight as need be and they get them, I mean, the boards are touching. So there's no gaps between any of these when it's all set up and done. So as you can see, like looking at the outside wall here, there's nothing, no light coming in. And looking at this wall, I mean, you can see they're just sucked up as tight as can be. So I just thought that would be kind of something neat to show you. Seems how this one is just barely being put together. With that though, you should go down there and leave me a fully put together comment. What do you think? What did you like about the home? Obviously it's not set up, but uh, what do you think of the layout? Especially once you hear the price. I know y'all are gonna like the price on this home. So with that, I will see you here in just a few minutes I'll, as I give you the price. Well, what did you think? Not a bad little two bedroom, two bath home, is it? And shoot, it'd almost be perfect for me and Raiden. <laughs> I really don't need much bigger than this anyway, but the bigger ones are nice to have, nice to look at. But if I was to buy a home, this might be what I would be looking at as far as size goes and what I'd actually need. But overall, I told you this was a smaller, affordable, two bedroom, two bath home. The price that I have is obviously at time of filming here in the very end of September of 2022. This is in Spokane, Washington. So this is a few sales taxes and things also included in this. There could be extra city fees, extra county fees, extra freight charges, depending on where you have the home delivered. So keep all that in mind. And of course we all know prices fluctuate. They go up, they go down. Heck, it could change tomorrow for all I know. But with that, the price on this home is 1,067 square feet, delivered, set up, the whole nine yards, $135,000 for a two bedroom, two bath. That's not bad, especially in today's market. But with that, I will see you in the next one. And I see you watching there. You should be down there in the description box, leaving me a comment. <laughs> see you in the next one. Bye.